Rafikis. It's road trip time. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> it's road trip time and obviously I have to be the last one. I have to be the messy one, but it's raining in Switzerland. We're not gonna let that uh, ruin the vibes. So the sun, here we come. Since we're going to an Airbnb, I needed to carry an iron, guys, because I did, like my clothes are not ironed properly. My towel is not even dried. I've just put it in there. That's my suitcase. That's other stuff. My sisters are there. And we're about to start this road trip. Oh, did I even say where we're going? We're road tripping to Italy. It's raining, that's why it's kind of confusing my brain, but yes. Okay guys, a uh, quick stop at the supermarket. I just got myself a uh, over maltine. This is like a Swiss chocolate type of Nutella. Uh, it's a patty, but then it has this chocolate inside. I'm not gonna take drinks because I have water. Oh, should I take this? Are these nice? Okay. I'm gonna take this as well. I can't tell. That's my small sister, by the way. Okay, we're gonna try the over maltine croissant or something. No, it's not a croissant, sorry, it's a pastry. Oh, mm. It tastes so good. Oh my god guys, how beautiful is Switzerland? Like the greenery, the blue sky, the sun is out today so I'm so happy about that. We've driven halfway from Switzerland to Italy. We've made a stop just before this super long tunnel. Apparently it is one of, I think the longest tunnel in Europe called the Gotha. 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 It is a tunnel that you go through for at least 30 minutes imagine just going being in a tunnel for 30 minutes that's insane there's a river somewhere around here that we're gonna go see apparently the river is so blue because it comes straight down from the stream we have arrived to that river guys this is what the river name is and the river is right there oh my gosh look how pretty that is gosh I love it we're going back on the road guys we have two hours and 40 minutes until actually two hours until we cross the border to Italy and then 40 minutes until we reach to Lake Como which is where we're going to be staying at in Italy inshallah So guys, we're entering Gotthard Tunnel, one of the longest tunnels in Europe. We're gonna be here. I could film this for half an hour, basically. <laughs> Ooh, the lights is giving me like transformer vibes. Okay guys, we're officially in Italy grounds now. Uh, Selsun said it smells different in Italy. <laughs> it smells like pizza. <laughs> That's so cliche. <laughs> What's surprising is there was absolutely no checks, not on the Swiss side and not on the Italian side of like identification or COVID, like COVID passes or COVID vaccines or anything, which was kind of pointless because I woke up at eight o'clock in the morning to go and get a COVID test, which came negative, which was so smooth. Like literally there was no barrier even, we just drove through. <laughs> we're, in a, we're in a city or a town, it's called Menaggio in Italy and we're driving to Lake Como which is where the Airbnb is located. The views are absolutely stunning guys. I cannot like explain to you how beautiful it is. The sun is out. It's such a good day. I don't know if I mentioned it by the way. We're six girls on this trip. Um, so you might, it might sound quiet right now. It's because whenever I film, everybody just goes quiet. <laughs> but the moment I stop, I stop recording, everybody starts talking again. So it looks like I'm on this trip alone. We're passing by Carrefour, 
the supermarket to buy some food and groceries because they're staying at an Airbnb, hence not a hotel. So we have to like cook ourselves, eat ourselves. So we're getting some groceries. Oh, this is everybody, by the way. You can see everybody. <laughs> Everybody's wearing masks. That's why I'm showing you. I don't know if they're comfortable being on camera. Guys, these breads are so warm. Like they've just been baked right now. It's so nice. We're getting pasta as well. Guys, the cart is like so full, mashallah. And this is four days. Four days and we fill the cart like this. We're definitely gonna have some leftovers just arrived at the airbnb but i'm gonna give you guys like a tour of the whole place tomorrow because it's kind of dark right now the views are stunning the uh, airbnb is so beautiful there's also a pool here it's so picturesque I did not end up going out with everybody because oh I realized my bad horrible planning today's Thursday which I completely forgot but today's Thursday and tomorrow means this Friday I need to upload a new video hence I needed to finish editing it in order for me to upload in time and I just felt like if I went out I'm already exhausted and super hungry so if I went out, I would have just delayed uh, my sleeping time because I also really want to wake up uh, early tomorrow so that I could get a lot of work done. Luckily yesterday when I got to my sister's house, I cooked rice and curry, which we ended up just taking it with us. And so I said, you know what, I'll just eat it now. I just realized I'm alone in the villa. So why not give you guys a very quick uh, airbnb tour starting from the ground floor so let's do that real quick so this is the entrance you enter from here and you come in straight into the living room it's already a mess we've literally dropped everything everywhere but we have the tv on a uh, little couch how cute is this decor though alhamdulillah guys they have wi-fi it saved my life because i have a video to upload we have a little library situation going on over here and then we have the stairs to go upstairs this way is through to the kitchen and then down here that's the way to go out to the pool this is the kitchen we've already unboxed everything all of the groceries uh this is the pantry oh okay that's how you open it <laughs> here here is the pantry we have a microwave and all of the food that we bought how cool is this thing it's like a giant lock we have a cooker over there a massive table i mean we've closed all the windows because of mosquitoes it's really bad mosquitoes we have cutleries more cutleries over here a breakfast area and then we have the fridge which was completely empty and mashallah look how it's become full it was empty that is it for the kitchen it's a very cute like italian looking kitchen how adorable then we make ourselves up we make our way upstairs into the first floor there are two floors up so this is the first floor and there's a way this way and a way left so we're gonna go in here first this is the room which i have just taken over these are my stuff my sister's stuff over there a big giant massive bed mashallah it's so pretty again we have the view outside but because it's night time right now there's nothing you guys are going to see so it's absolutely pointless i will show you in the morning we have a fan because it can get quite hot it is really hot right now that's the bed from the other side of the view um let's go through to the other side so you come through and there is oh i switched off the light sorry about that so there's another room this one has a bunk bed with also a view of lake como and then a really nice dresser you come through here and it is the bathroom look how gorgeous that mirror is first of all we have some flowers over here some towels at the bottom and that is the bathroom 
Oh, the shower, guys. It looks like one of those rain showers. View outside. You can see the neighbor's pool from here. Make ourselves way back and go upstairs. Let me just switch on the light. Okay. We have another room this side, a bathroom and a room that side. Let's make our way through to the first room. It's two single beds. Um, a really nice cupboard over here. We have a dressing table. This dressing table is so beautiful. Oh, look at the decor inside. Then we have the bathroom. Second bathroom is up here. How gorgeous. I just love all the mirrors. And then the last room is here. This is like the biggest room there is. Look at that cupboard. How beautiful. The decor and the detailing. Look at that mirror. And then we have a massive bed and a table, side table. Look at that. I love the bedside tables and the dressing table and the bed. And you have this massive mirror. Like the outfit pics we can take. And that's basically it. Airbnb tour. Good morning Rafikis. It's a brand new day and we've woken up in Italy. I can't believe I am in Italy. This is insane. Now I can show you the beautiful view from the room. It's stunning. You guys are not ready for this. Welcome to Lake Como. How beautiful is this view? So this is the garden, which I'm going to show you guys in, the, uh, in a bit. I'm going to go downstairs. That is Lake Como, and we have the mountains behind there. And then our swimming pool is right over there. Okay, guys, let me show you the outside because it's a beautiful morning, mashallah. Okay, go through. Oh, whoa. I don't know what are these, oranges or lemons? I think it's lemons. We have a lemon tree over here, a barbecue area. And then you go through the path, you come down, <laughs> there's the pool right down there and then a little pathway here. We have a little cute uh, table area under this uh, garden thing, it's on the other side which is where we're having breakfast this morning. How stunning is this? Mashallah, the girls have been cooking all morning. Um, we have eggs, pancakes, brioche toast, uh, bread, a nice uh, cheese salad, some banana fruits, guacamole, olives, then we have uh, pineapple juice, tropical juice, water and all the plates around. Oh, we have also some jam and is it chocolate spread? Is it? A, yeah, a chocolate spread and jam. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry right now. You guys have no idea. Also, tea is coming. And then look at that beautiful, stunning view that we're going to have for breakfast today. Okay, let me go back this side and i show you guys the pool area. Ah, you go all the way down here and it's the pool. Good morning, pool. Oh, and also look, there's... Um, the little floating like donuts and bed thing which we all can't wait to like get on them. The pool is quite big I have to say, mashallah. There's a little shower there and the neighbors on that side. So neighbors over there. So that is the villa tour complete. We're not gonna go for breakfast. I'm super, super hungry. Guys, I just can't get over this view just found a fig tree right in front of us and look at them they're proper ripe mashallah this is my plate i've eaten i promise <laughs> barely like what is this
filmed for more than half of the day we had breakfast in the morning like you saw and then I had so much work to do so after breakfast all I did was create a lot of content hence this uh, super glam makeup I wouldn't have done this <laughs> if it wasn't for the content I had to create we're going to take the car down to the town center and then just walk around and see Lake Como and just vibes, you know, it's all about good vibes. Wow, it's so pretty. Wow. Guys, we have made it to the lakeside and people are staring. At <laughs> but this is so beautiful. Oh my God, there's a little beach. I just can't get over these views. We've reached a little uh, dock place. It kind of reminds me of like Lamu kind of. Not Lamu really, but minus the mountains, it reminds me of Lamu. It's just so beautiful. Welcome to Lake Como Rafikis, located in Northern Italy, set against the foothills of the Alps. When viewed from a map or a drone, the lake is shaped like an upside down Y. It is the third largest lake in Italy and is known for its breathtaking landscapes sailing and kite surfing activities as well as housing the most attractive villas such as the one owned by George Clooney. I low-key wish that we bump into him but let's just enjoy this montage of myself at the lake. It's kind of quiet in my room right now without you and I couldn't really make you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself Now and then I'll try to laugh, but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer Our love was out of control So guys, we've driven to a little town, it's called Menaggio and we're going for dinner with the whole group, uh, Italian dinner, our first dinner out in Italy, so I'm quite excited, I'm super hungry, can't lie, so let's go! Dinner is served guys. I ordered grilled prawns with some chips. We have others who ordered pastas, pizzas and pizzas and pastas everywhere around. 